and we are here back round four of Super Formula Cup World Elite and we are off to a great start. Looking on the back here at Ducky Dono racing for the Audi team reserved for Kono Biro who could not make it. We're going to be looking uh, at Jalen up here ahead right on the right side of Ruzi trying to get around going around the outside there trying to keep it tidy he's in a loose position and Ruzi's going to edge him out right there Ducky Dono just keeping his distance hanging back from the whole crowd there and we do have looks to be a mistake up ahead uh, we'll try to see what driver that is in the next clip but as they go off here they make it through pretty relatively smooth um, Ruzi still defending on Jalen who's also subbing in for one of the teams as well and from the looks of it, he doesn't, he isn't able to get that position back, and um, we're going to take it back here to start at the beginning uh, from P1's point of view, and kind of take a look at this uh, clip here, as I think it's Whiteout who is get, gets pushed off, uh, trying to make an early move that doesn't really pay dividends here, uh, and Luciano's going to be off to a great start, to really showing his uh, behind the season, really uh, taking place as the top driver here and uh, White House is going to put himself on the outside there not a smart position to be on there and he's going to get caught up in the grass and the sand there in the dunes um, this track has been called Monaco without barriers and that does stand true we're going to see that clip again right here as White House tries to go on the inside here um, a little bit of love tap there a little bit of touch there as well a uh, loser unable to keep, keep him around on the outside there he does have a uh, significant part of the car still up ahead near his uh, quarter. White House tries to go on that outside and just not a good place to position his car there. He's going to end up going into the grass, uh, into the sand, excuse me, almost into the dunes and that's all she wrote there was into positions and right now we have Ree uh the number two driver for, for uh, Aston Martin and he's going to get a little sideways there uh, clipping on that sand there and here we have uh, our boy Jalen uh, subbing in for the Audi team, um, just squeezing his way through as Flaring's coming back from a mistake. I he tries on the right on the uh, right side of him. He's gonna squeeze through both of them. Gets through, gets two positions just like that. Easy money there for him. Uh, we got Jaram running the purple sector. Um, his teammate up ahead making a mistake and just kind of being a little bit naughty. I don't know if he was trying to get back on the track. Maybe cut off a little bit too wide there. He's gonna make another mistake. Uh, also almost pushing Dram off again so a little bit of a skirmish between the two teammates there we're gonna just run that back and take a look at that uh, just one one hit there he's gonna try and block him off it looks like or maybe just didn't see him there I don't know and then again he's gonna make his own mistake and then almost uh, take Dram out of the race I don't know what was going on between those two teammates there next up we got Ratchet 2448 again Project new team, he's gonna just get around J Plaza pretty easy there. Plaza not really putting up, up, up much of a fight there. Don't know what happened, maybe some uh, some issues with the car or whatever. Now we have a whiteout coming back from his mistake that he made earlier in the race. Getting past uh, Ratchet and uh, Plaza there uh, as Plaza finds himself further back in the pack and he's gonna be chasing Nicholas here. And interesting enough, he's gonna go here just a little bit of a a spin almost there as it just corrects it and I just had to show that on board because it was a pretty crazy save there that he was able to put on uh, for himself and then still was able to get the overstake he puts himself on the right side of the car going around the outside and cutting off and uh, just able to gain that position just like that smooth and easy for Mr. White out there we're going to see that clip again from another angle as he goes third person view here uh, smooth down the first part of the uh, support screen and just kind of loses it on the exit there. Uh, a beautiful save had him. That could have been ugly. Uh, I don't know if it was the dirty air that caught him or uh, a little clip of that sand. Maybe a little bit of both there, but still able to get around uh, uh, our boy Nicholas of the Porsche team there and um, puts on the boost for an easy, easy pass. So we have Jalen here, P11, uh, getting held up by tryhards here. Stable stallions, and then he's gonna just get around him right here on the outside. Pretty simple, easy move. Uh, I'll take that position from you. Thank you. And um, that is all she wrote there for our boy Jalen. We got right out here at P11 after another couple spills, but he's gonna make himself 
make his way back up uh, with uh, flaring in front of him, trying to get past here. Uh, he started out really good on pole and just did not have the race that uh, he expected to, but he was able to get past flaring with a massive nosedive uh, into the course crew, using all the road there uh, to get by. And again, wide out here uh, on tryhards as tryhards comes out of the pits. And Triarts, same move that caught Whiteout in the beginning, but uh, he's on the other side, other side of it now, and uh, they both make it relatively too clean. And Triarts is going to retain his position as he comes out of the pits, um, still with Whiteout on his tail, though, which is something you don't want to be, uh, have on your tail. Uh, as champion here, Whiteout trying to find his way through Monaco, Sandy Monaco, as they call it, Laguna Seca. Just at the of course, which is not enough distance there. Not wanting to get on overtake, but he's unable to get tryhard as tryhards makes a mistake there and uh, it gets around the outside there. Uh, tryhards making a mistake on the second part of that court screw there. A lot of that course is catching a lot of people off uh, guard there and boom, he's gonna make that stick. Now we have Muko of the two the team, second half of the two the team on Sakib. Sakib running a really good race here in fourth, just kind of by himself chilling and kept. Sakib just trying to hold on there, and, and Yuko's just kind of sneaking through, and Sakib maybe catches himself on a little bit of sand and doesn't get the exit he wants, and Yuko's able to make it through there. And now we have again Whiteout on uh, I try hard to, on uh, Flaring, uh, both of them kind of squabbling it out as Flaring comes back from another mistake, Flaring is the Toyota team. He makes another mistake there of the course group, it's just mentioned that course group catching a lot of people off guard, and Tryhards here trying to defend uh, for his life here that P9, that covered P9 position, um, able to just make it through, nice exit there, using up all that road and all that turf, um, again, wide out on tryhards, about 23, uh, uh, oh, just another almost spill there for wide out, our ex-champion, and he's going to be looking to make his way past, uh, not the race he was expecting, I don't think, of course, you know, after being on the front row and then finding yourself in P10, but still sticking it through. Um, Tryhards is going to get a little squirrely there uh, on the exit. I guess he's trying to use up all the road he can. Um, but that's going to give right out the chance to put himself alongside. And they both try to go through it from the same time. Uh, Tryhards is using that inside to his advantage there. But now Whiteout's got the better position, looks like. And he's going to be able to get him through there. But no, Whiteout is, uh, uh, is not done there. He's still there on the outside, and it's got a little bit of contact, and Whiteout gets another shunt over uh, into the sand, but looks like Triers is going to wait for him, the gentleman thing to do, uh, and let him pass there, because that was definitely a, a little bit of racing into there. And there was, uh, a lot of scuffle there. Uh, we've got Sakib again on Jaram. Jaram's going to take the position that his teammate Ratchet had at the beginning of the session, and uh, now he's following his way around to P4, and then next... Uh, Maybe even a podium as we get to the end of the race here. Lap 41, 56, 56 out of these guys getting a lot of applause for him being able to focus for this long. But he's going to follow behind some kids, and it doesn't look like he has an answer. So he's been running a pretty strong race here, very consistent here. Not, um, you know, in the top uh, split as far as uh, pace goes, but he's been very consistent here, and that's what you really need here at uh, Laguna Seca. And Durant's going to put himself all in the outside behind that white line there and then try to get around the outside there, giving himself more road to get that car turned in, but uh, not enough there, and so he was able to retain his P4 for the moment. Pretty good racing right there, I'm just saying for myself. Try hard to again. On Ratchet this time, that's triple four eight of Project Mew team. Looks like Try Hard is making his way through the field as well in this race. And looking good. We're in a better race than his teammate GTR, and uh, Brad's just going to do the switch over, and then looks like he just gets, I don't know what happened, he just gets passed very easily there, I don't know what was going on there. Um, Triard's being a back marker, he's going to get past, uh, he gets past and he's young, I guess, trying to stay ahead of Ratchet, but I, I don't think he should have passed our, our race our race leader at that moment, especially, you know, there was no reason purpose in unlapping himself there, and he gets himself a little in a little bit of trouble there, and gets back up that position he's fought so hard for uh, to get, and that's on the lap 56 here, 55, excuse me, and 
to end it off, another beautiful race from our guy, Aluki on Norwegian Lightning. I heard Lightning does not strike twice, but in this tournament, apparently it does. Another race win for the guy and his teammate in P8. They're going to take home some nice points after this race, and this was pretty solid for him. Pretty solid no contenders after the, whiteout, the spill whiteout had, and uh, he's really showing to be one of the top dogs this season. All right, guys, that's it. Until next time.